Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So what do I think is the trend for software development going into 2025? It's November 29th, 2024. So I think you're going to see the move towards very light and nimble. You'll see that major organizations do set trends and it sort of affects the zeitgeist. Google's looking at trimming the fat in that regard. All these companies are looking around and saying, you know what, we can introduce a lot of efficiencies into the equation. So it doesn't mean necessarily less jobs. I think there's going to be plenty of development jobs. It's just a question of the style of development. So think of it that way. I think that the style of development is going to change for lighter, nimbler, as opposed to big, uh, massive DevOps operations. So I think that's what the opportunity is uh, there for you. So on a related note, if you are someone who's an aspiring developer or developer and your ultimate goal is to start a business, a SaaS-based business or freelance or whatnot, the first step is to actually start freelancing. Why? Why? Freelancing is the best first way to get into business. So you understand the basic operations, how to run, how to run a little business, how to deal with clients, how to spec out things, how to develop very quickly. You know, why not have clients pay for your uh, education in terms of ref the refinement in which you weigh, uh, refining your skill rather, in regard to building web apps and websites and building projects. Learn how to build nimbly and quickly uh, as you uh, build people, you know? This video is sponsored by PenPod. PenPod is a web-based application that allows you to quickly develop front-end web UI. It's very powerful. I've talked about them before. You can check out the site here. In this video, I want to talk about their new plugin architecture that they've implemented into their product. So, the plugins allow you to basically plug in, create new functionality within their web app. You have to have some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS and JavaScript. You have to know some sort of web framework, at least the basics of it, React, Vue, etc. And it allows you to create plugins. So what's the significance of this? The significance of being able to create plugins is it allows you to add in functionality into the app. So perhaps you want some sort of extra functionality, some sort of extra automation that PenPot doesn't include out of the box so you can add it into your install of PenPod so you can further improve your workflows. One of the things I talk about all the time is how important workflows are and your applications, the tools that you use to develop your code is a big part about of this. Now, the problem is you can't expect the tool to have everything you need. So having a good plugin architecture like PenPod has allows you to just add in whatever extra functionality that you need. And the cool thing now is PenPod has a contest where you can create your plugins and you can win prizes. Uh, with link to it below this video. You can check it out. If you're ever thinking about jumping into a new integrated development environment, looking at new tools to optimize your web development workflow, your web design workflows, you should check out PenPod. First of all, it's a very powerful tool to begin with. Second of all, they now got this plugin architecture that you can leverage. And you, if you develop plugins now, now's the time to get into it because they got a contest. That's what I did. You know, before I built my first SaaS, I did a se well, more, several years. I forget how many years now. I've been several years of freelancing. It doesn't mean you have to. Let's say you have a SaaS idea now and you haven't done much development though. Well, you could jump right into it. But if you're not quite sure what your SaaS product might be, SaaS is short for software as a service. If you're not sure, you're kind of just toying with the idea, then just go into freelance, build other people's stuff. See what happens. It could be simple things. Start off with WordPress-based uh, sites, uh, even Wix-based sites. Doesn't really matter. You gotta understand a big part of development is outside of what technologies you use, whether you use uh, languages, coding languages, whether you use frameworks, uh, whether you just deploy a, a simple Wix-based, I'm just using Wix as an example, a simple web builder. Development includes a whole bunch of other things, including communications, specking out projects, figuring out what technologies to leverage for the project. Development is a lot about that. So just because you're not necessarily writing code for a particular project, it doesn't mean you're not developing. It's just you're, uh, you're just developing using other tools. So, you know, WordPress developers who just really understand the WordPress ecosystem, 
and you're installing themes and configuring plugins and getting everything locked down. That's development is just a different type of development. Same thing. I have a friend of mine who works for one of the largest banks in the world. Does huge amount of Java work, huge Java stacks, huge Java stacks. And a lot of his job has nothing to do with coding. He does coding. There's no question about it. But a lot of his job is just configurations and uh, defining specifications, uh, gathering requirements, uh, that kind of stuff. It's uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of his work as a senior dev has nothing to do with, like, he's not writing code. So when you're looking at that whole world, when you're looking at getting into that industry, expanding into that, don't necess- it's not necessarily code. I remember I was there once. I remember I was like getting involved in config and so forth, and I said, ah, this is not code. I want to be coding. I can tell you, man, a big part of the job is in just configs and assessments and that kind of stuff, like just like sitting down and designing the structure of your relational database. That takes time, you know? That's not coding. That's designing a database. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. My name is Uncle Steph, and I train people in the ways of software development. I teach the fundamentals, which once you have that, then you can do anything you want. And I also teach the very, very, very advanced stuff that took me 15, 20 years to pick up on. So I mentor people on both ends. In the middle, is tons of stuff for you. You don't need me for that. Anyway, that's about it. Cheers.